And when you look at tax reform, this goes back to, I mean, it's been a year that President mm. Trump has been elected to the day. Um, what does this mean for animal spirits? If we don't get this tax cut as promised, are we going to see a correction in the markets? Or actually, is it just kind of steady as it goes because nothing's been priced in? Well, I think some of it has been priced in. Look at where we were in, say, the 10-year note back in the summer. And, you know, we were down sub 210. We're now, we've, we've, ra we've seen the yield move up to 240, now back to around 230. What's driven it? Well, three things. Um, first and foremost, bringing the tax cut um, promise back onto the agenda because that had been more or less priced out over the summer. Inflation normalising some, and, of course, we've seen the Fed following through on uh, beginning to taper down their balance sheets. So there's really three things that have pushed it up. Now, tax is one element of that, but the financial markets are focusing on the economy as a whole. I guess what's interesting uh, from your pre previous guest, um, who raised the point that it's a complicated thing to get through. Mm -hmm. Now, clearly... If we're seeing the Republicans weigh up the, uh, whether they want to perhaps delay implementation, you know, it may have ramifications. But while the tax cut remains on the table and in debate, I think financial markets may move around a little bit. But what they're going to continue to focus on is the underlying strength of the US economy and the fact that we are really in a global economy which is moving in a synchronous growth fashion for the first time really since the financial crisis. And that's really what's driving asset returns much more so, I'd argue, than, than the debate around tax.